Hey guys, welcome to this edition of Scruff's Garage. Uh, today we're going to install uh, the Melling 10 295 oil pump uh, on the front of my LS1. When you've got their um, 10 295 and 10 296 series um, oil pumps, you don't just slap them on. They are somewhat self-centering on the, the crank gear, um, but you can set them up with better tolerances. Um, so that's what we're going to do. So you start by installing the outer uh, pump housing. I apologize for all the background noise. The ticking noise is my sprinkler system. I put out grass seed and fertilizer not too long ago. So I'm trying to get some of that to grow. And then every neighbor in the neighborhood is going to start the car right about now. Uh, these for now we're just putting in finger tight just to hold the housing in place. We'll come back after we've uh, shimmed the oil pump uh, gears and then torque it down at that point. Okay, so at this point we're going to install the inner gear. I've got a small bucket of oil. Can't see it off camera, but I had the uh, inner gear soaking. You want that nice and lubricated. Uh, so at this point, we want to shim this gear two to three thousandths. So I bought this kit here, if you can see it, uh, from Sac City Corvette. Um, and you can get all these different little shims, and specifically for setting up uh, the clearances on the Melling oil pumps. Uh, the other option is to go to Harbor Freight and buy uh, three or four different um, feeler gauge sets and then disassemble it and take what you need. Um, but this is a little bit cheaper option and does exactly what we need it to do. So our green ones are three thousandths. these evenly spaced okay so we've got three three thousand shims between the inner gear and the crankshaft sprocket uh, now we're ready to install the outer part of the gear again make sure you got some oil on it And then we're going to do the same thing. The tan feeler gauges are four thousandths. And we want to install those between the outer ring gear and the pump housing.
Okay, <clears throat> so here's what we ended up with. So these red shims are two thousandths, and the green shims are three thousandths. The ten uh, four thousandths thickness uh, shims I started with uh, just weren't going to fit uh, between the outer uh, pump gear and the, the housing body. So you want to be able to slide these around. You may have to uh, loosen these bolts, right? They're only uh, finger tight to begin with, but then there's just a little bit of play in the um, in the housing. You can move it around just a bit to open up some clearance. But you should be able to move these shims through without too much resistance all the way around. So, I think I got these pretty close. Uh, you may have to rotate the crank some too just to get things to line up, uh, particularly when putting in that outer ring. So now we're ready to torque the, uh, the bolts down. The outer bolts are going to be 18 foot-pounds for the pump housing. And be sure to use some blue Loctite on these as well. Certainly don't want one of these backing out. check make sure we still have some good clearance seems pretty good doesn't appear anything's bound up okay so at this point we pulled all of our shims back out and we're ready to put on the uh, front cover uh, front cover of the oil pump I'm going to pump in a little bit of oil Covers held on with these T30 Torx bits. Put a couple of these in just to hold it in place, and then of course you want to do final install uh, with a little bit of blue Loctite on these as well. And all that's left uh, these get torqued down of course in a uh, star pattern uh, to 80 to 106 inch pounds uh, or if you're using foot pounds that would be roughly seven to nine uh, foot pounds so I'm going to use eight foot pounds kind of right in the middle uh, get these torqued up and then we'll be all finished okay so I've got all the bolts put in uh, with a little bit of blue Loctite now I just got to run through the uh, torque sequence you know what, I'm going to snug these down first just to make sure that front cover is nice and centered. There we go. Uh, like I said, 7 to 9 foot-pounds on these with the blue glock tight. That's really not much. Uh, so you go over them a couple of times just to make sure they're all properly torqued. Uh, the other thing I would recommend if you if you're running a timing chain dampener look down vertically and make sure the uh, dampener isn't holding uh, hitting the back of the oil pump 
Um, obviously this oil pump only works with the OE type uh, single roller uh, timing chains. If you have a double roller, um, some modifications may have to be made, so uh, keep those things in mind. So I hope you found this helpful. Um, the other thing I'll, I'll point out, uh, if you have any further questions, of course you can post them in the comments below. I'll be happy to help. Uh, another great resource, Melling has their own YouTube channel, um, and they do an installation video on this as well. <clears throat> so if you have any questions after this, or if you just want a second viewpoint, um, I highly recommend their video. It's pretty quick, uh, and they walk through the same steps about setting up the clearances uh, and how to install everything as well. So I hope you found this uh, helpful, and as always, like and subscribe, and uh, we'll keep building this engine.